Hey Brazen, happy Saturday. Uh, so if you're working out with me this Saturday at 9.30, I will see you under the viaduct. Otherwise, enjoy your at-home workout. So today we have five little mini AMRAPs. Uh, these are three minute AMRAPs with a minute rest in between. So we'll work hard for three minutes, then we have a minute off, then we go right back at it for another three minutes, minute off, etc., etc. With these five minute uh, five three minute AMRAPs. Each time you complete one of your AMRAPs, you go back to the beginning, start at the beginning. So let's say you make it through, you know, the second part, the second movement, and then the time cap hits, you go back to the top when you start the next mini AMRAP. So if you do the math, that's 15 minutes of total work in this first part and four minutes of rest. So a rest of a minute in between each one of those. So then we'll take another rest. This first five Three minute AMRAPs are two candlesticks, so you guys may be getting pretty good at these, uh, four tuck jumps, and six sumo deadlifts. Like we said, move through these. Since it's a three minute AMRAP and you have that rest, I want you to try and push it and go a little bit hard for these three minutes, and then use that rest to recover, bring your breathing under control, then hit it hard. First couple rounds shouldn't be too bad. Uh, try and dial it up for those rounds, and then sustain it throughout all five of those rounds. Then we will rest, if you're with me outside, we'll take about a two or three minute rest. And we have an eight minute, nice little core burner down here, 20 hollow rocks, 20 plank marches, and 20 supermans. So what you need is a mat and a dumbbell or a kettlebell. You can also bring two dumbbells if you want to. Dumbbell, kettlebell, we'll use for these sumo deadlifts. Everything else, uh, you need a mat or a towel or something to lay on. So to go over these workouts, two candlesticks. Uh, so a couple different versions of these. You have your RX version and then an RX plus version. We're gonna start with our legs in a hollow, almost a hollow body position like so. Arms down at our side, bringing our legs up onto our shoulders and back, just like so. To add the RX plus, you would just continue that on to stand up. Next, we have four tuck jumps. So a tuck jump is, if you're in an apartment, just make sure you're nice and light on your feet or uh, DM us for another option. But um, when we're outside, we just wanna jump and tuck our knees in as best as possible. So jump and then back. My neighbors downstairs are loving that. Not too light on my feet. Six sumo deadlifts. So the sumo deadlift, using either two dumbbells a kettlebell or one dumbbell. We want to go a little bit full, further than shoulder width apart with these. The difference between these and a regular deadlift is we're actually engaging our quads a little bit. So it's more of a squat motion than a hinge motion. We're going to bend over. Notice how I have my legs bent and then we're just going to stand up and then straight back down. Just like so for all six of those. You go back to the top push it through those candlesticks, tuck jumps, deadlifts for that three minutes, and then you have your rest. This eight minute AMRAP. So hollow rocks, we wanna get into a hollow body position, just as it sounds, and we're rocking back and forth, keeping this hollow body position. 20 of those, flipping over, 20 plank marches, so we're holding a plank, marching out, touching in front of us. Just like so, keeping that body and torso as straight as possible. And then finally, these 20 supermans, lower back movement, hands out of front, legs behind you, squeezing everything, and then going back down. Squeeze, coming back down. You wanna try and get up on your core as best as possible, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your lower back. So like I said, I will see you guys Saturday under the viaduct. Otherwise, enjoy this workout.